Is it a girl? Nope. Is it a plane? Nope. Is it Superman? No. You sexist fuckers. It's Supergirl. The trailer's just dropped. Let's get into this, people. It's good takers. Welcome back. I'm Eddie Reese. This is the first take. And yes, CBS's Supergirl trailer has just dropped. But let's get straight into this and we'll talk about it afterwards. My name is Kara Zorel. What's up, Kara? Four years ago, my planet was in peril. My cousin, Kalel, was sent to a planet called Earth. You may know his mm -hmm. story, mm -hmm. but you don't know mine. On mm -hmm. Earth, you will do extraordinary things. Until now. You must go. I love you, Kara. Dinner. I need to make sure Ms. Grant doesn't end up next to Bill O'Reilly again. Hey, um, I was wondering if maybe you want to, I don't know, go see a movie at night. I can't. I I'm sorry. I have a date. A date? <laughs> fun. Dating is fun. She's here. How do you do that? The only reason I bought this building was because it had a private elevator. I leave my bill. To get soaked in cheap cologne every morning, getting to my office, find out who used it, have them reprimanded or bathed. I don't care which. Is a latte? Hot? Oh, that'll be new and different. Hello? I've seen this picture. I want a Pulitzer. Yeah, only because it was the first real shot of it. It was secret. You actually posed for that. Guess you like me. Oh, my God. You're Jimmy Olsen, the photographer from the Daily Planet. James Olsen. I never got your name. God. Right? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, uh, Kara. Wow. I have a conference in Geneva, and I need to be on a plane in two hours. I have a blind date in a half an hour, and I need you to help me pick out what to wear. Why do you do this to me? Because I'm your sister and you love me. <sighs> I feel like I'm not living up to my potential. I just fetch layouts and coffee. You always wanted to be normal. This is what normal looks like. I'm not normal. I can lift a bus, stop a bullet, Alex. I can fly. At least I think I can. By 237 bound for Geneva, it's circling the city after an engine failure. Did he say Geneva? exposed yourself you're out there now Kara everyone will know about you and you can't take that back I don't want to media magnet Cat Grant of National City's new female hero Supergirl we can't name her that we didn't shouldn't she be called super woman what do you think is so bad about girl I'm a girl and your boss and powerful and rich and hot and smart so if you perceive supergirl as anything less than excellent isn't the real problem you <sighs> Kara? i'm going to tell you something about me that for most of my life i've run from it but last night i embraced who i am and i don't want to stop oh my god you're a lesbian oh Kara, that's why you're not into me this is this is this is great news <laughs> you are jay i'm her the woman who saved the plane. <laughs> okay, right. Carl, what are you doing? Hey! Carl! You're her. Nope. <laughs> I'm not flying around saving people in this thing. Oh, where's my cape? Kids are lame. Tell your cousin I said so. Actually, never, never do that. <clears throat> so, 
To be a superhero, you need a crime. There's a car chase on the 112 freeway. I could do a car chase. A cape aids with aerodynamics. I should have thought of that. West National City Bank. Suspects are armed and dangerous. You, uh, you sure you're bulletproof? Hope so. All right, the new cape is made from a structured polymer composite. It's much sturdier than... And, uh... This one has the S for super, it's just like your cousin. It's not an S. My family's coat of arms, the House of L. Yeah. Welcome to the Department of Extra Normal Operations. The DEO monitors and protects Fucking Earth long trailer. Terrestrial presence. These beings, some of them are powers from your darkest nightmares. I can help you stop them. I don't trust aliens. You want to help? Go back to getting someone's coffee. Kara, it's me. I know what you're thinking. But the world needs you to survive. And so do I. So what do we do now? First things first. We need to change. This is my I didn't travel 2,000 light years just to be an assistant. People of this city will die. Ah! Let me stop it. Make sure you win. That was good. My cousin wanted me to do this. Why did he just tell me? Because he wanted you to choose it for yourself. Same way he did. Here, from him. I took a blanket he was wrapped in when he was a baby. Apparently, this cape won't shred. Thank you. How would you know? Uh, don't you have a city to protect? You know, up, up, and away? <laughs> When I heard that this was getting made, I was optimistic. You know, I wanted to love it. I wanted to really get into it. And I'm not going to say that I flat out hate it. I'm going to reserve my judgment for when it drops. I will watch it. I will give it a chance, at least two or three episodes. But the tone that they're putting across in the trailer, it looks like they're trying too hard to appeal to the pretty... Little things or dirty things, whatever that show's called, to the Glee type vibe, that tweeny Hannah Montana vibe. It's a lot of the problems that the um, Gem and the Holograms trailer suffered from. But it might just be, I'm guessing all of this stuff is just from the pilot, because they've only literally just gone into shooting. They've only just got the go ahead to shoot the full season. So I'm guessing everything that we saw is just from the pilot. So. It could still find its way. We know with shows like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that took a while to get its feet going. It was shitty for a good half season, but then it just started to roll and they started to figure out where they were going and what they were doing. So I think this needs that chance. I'm going to give it. I don't like that trailer. It's too friggin' long for one. Damn. Damn. They could have cut a way better trailer for half of the time. I like the girl. I don't know her name. I'm going to look it up. But... Some people are bitching about it, but I, f I like her. She's got a good sort of girl next door vibe. She's very pleasant, like a sweet girl. I like that. You know, she seems cool. The world as a whole, yeah, I'm not sure. You know, but CW, well, it's not CW, it's CBS. Maybe that's the problem. But even though it's still supposed to have the same people behind the scenes working on it that work on Arrow and the flash but i was hoping it was going to be more along the lines of the flash in terms of its tone but it may get there like i said but so far first impressions uh, i want to smiddle i want to like it i don't want to write it off i want to be positive i don't want to write it off what do you guys think do you think this is going to find its way that it's going to get its feet under it and that it's going to end up being a decent show or do you think this trailer Sets the groundwork for what we can expect. Some melodramatic 
fluffy, candy-coated superhero film or superhero show. And it looked kind of cheap. Like the effect, it doesn't look like they really put a lot of money into it. But some, some of the effects look really good. It was inconsistent. Some look good. And then some look really janky. Like, this is... But, you know, it may find its way, but, yeah, let me go. <laughs> but, yeah, it may find its way, but let me know. Write your comments down below. Let me know if you like it, if you're going to be checking it out, or you're optimistic for where it's going to lead to in the future. If you like the video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'm on Instagram now, so go check that out in the first take. I'm Eddie Reese, and this has been my first take of Supergirl. Even that logo looks shitty. Just the way Supergirl... Ugh. Oh, <laughs>